Hello, today I'm going to show the solution for the prisoner's hats a variation riddle I showed in my previous video. So let's see how it goes. As you may remember, we have 10 people or 10 prisoners who are standing in a line and each one has a hat and the hat is a number and each person can see all the people in front of him but he cannot see his own number or the people behind him and we as a group have to come up with a strategy to make uh, eight correct answers. So let's see how it goes. We start with 10 people and each person has a number. And let's look at the last guy in the queue. He sees nine people in front of him. He sees all the numbers and he doesn't see just two numbers. He doesn't see the number on his own hat. In this case, it's number one and he doesn't see number seven. Number, hat number seven is not used in this specific example. Now, let's assume we did not have the limitation that we can only only say a number between 1 to 11. In this case the riddle would be quite simple because the last guy in the queue would simply say the sum of all the numbers that he sees in front of him. And then once we go to the second guy, in this example the guy who is wearing hat number 10, the second guy will do the same thing. He will sum all the numbers that he sees in front of him. He will know what is the sum of the numbers of all the people in front of him including him because that's the number that the last guy would say and the difference between these two numbers would be his own hat and this process will repeat itself so if we did not have the limitation of saying a number between 1 to 11 the last guy in the queue would simply say the sum of all numbers that he sees in front of him and based on this information all the other guys in the queue could calculate what number they have but unfortunately, this is not that simple. However, we're going to use uh, something similar, something that will be not that different from, uh, from this strategy. And this is going to be the trick to solve our uh, riddle. So the first thing I want to do before I actually describe the strategy is do a, a small thing. Let's say we want to sum a series of numbers and I want to know the, the total sum of all the hats uh, in this uh, case. So we have 11 hats numbered from 1 to 11 and let's say that I want to calculate the sum of uh, these numbers. It may not be fully clear at this stage why I'm doing that but it will be much clearer very soon. So I want to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on until 11. The sum of these numbers is uh, 66. Now if I want to calculate the sum of all numbers that I see in front of me, let's say I'm the last person in the queue, all I need to do is to subtract from 66 the two numbers I don't see. In this case, uh, 1 and 7. So let's start with the algorithm. We start with the last guy in the queue and he's the first person that we ask what is your uh, number. In this case, what the guy will do is he will uh, subtract 8 from 66, 66 minus 1 plus 7, because these are the two numbers that he does not see, and he will get 58. 58 is the actual sum of all the nine people that are standing in front of the last person. The next thing the last person will do is it will calculate modulo 11 out of 58, which is a 3. Uh, modulo 11 is like calculating the leftover after dividing by 11. So 58 equals 5 times 11, which is 55 plus 3. So 58 modulo 11 is 3. This is the first step in the algorithm. And the next thing that happens is that the last guy would say, Three. Now, he knows that he is wrong. He knows that uh, he's not really wearing the hat with number three, but uh, saying this number is a very valuable information as we will uh, see very shortly. So now the last guy said three he was wrong. We already have one mistake, but let's see how we progress from here. We move to the next guy, the guy is second from the last, and this guy looks ahead of him and he sees uh, eight, uh, eight ads or 80 people, eight numbers, and he can do a what if analysis. What does it mean? He can say, let's say I was the last person in the queue and I was being asked what number I have. So basically we have three options because the second guy from last, he does not see hats number one, seven and 10. And he does not know which uh, number he has. So he can only make an assumption or make a what if analysis. And he can say to himself, okay, let's say I was wearing hat number one. What would the last guy see? He would look ahead and he will not see hats number seven and 10. 
because uh, I'm wearing hat number one. So he will not see hats number uh, seven and 10. In this case, he would make this calculation. He will calculate 66 minus seven plus 10, that's 49. And then he would calculate uh, modulo 11 and he will get five. And, but the guy, the last guy in the queue, he did not say five, he said three. So that means that I cannot be wearing hat number one. If I had been wearing hat number one, then the last guy would have said five and not three. So let's uh, let's assume, let's do a what if analysis in case I had my hat num was number seven. In this case, the last guy in the queue will, would have not seen numbers one and ten, and he would he would have made the same calculation: 66 minus one plus ten it equals 55. 55 modulo 11 is actually zero, but Let's say we cannot say the number 0, so he would have said uh, 11. But he did not say that, he said 3. At this stage, the second guy from last already knows he has number 10 because he eliminated the two other options, but he can also make the calculation himself, uh, assuming that he's wearing hat number 10 and then calculating what the last guy would have seen. And that is our strategy, and we're going to repeat this process with all the people in the queue. And let's just make a quick overview on the next guy. So let's let's look at the guy who's wearing hat number eight. He does not see four hats in total. He does not see hats number one, seven, ten, and eight. However, he already knows that the guy behind him is wearing hat number ten, so he can uh, delete the, this option. And he's left with the three options. He's either wearing hat number one, seven, or eight. And he can do the exact same thing as the guy behind him. Make this the what if analysis. If he would do that, he would get the numbers seven, two, and three for each option, as we've seen in the previous example. And he would realize he's wearing hat number eight. He will say eight, and he will be right. The only uh, difference and uh, the only uh, exception we have is the actual guy who's wearing hat number three because one of the rules is that we cannot repeat the same number. So in the case of the guy who's wearing hat number three, he can say either one or seven. He will know that the hat's number uh, seven and one are used by the, are either not used or one of them is used by the last guy. So either one, it doesn't matter, he can say, a 107, he, of course he would be wrong, he would sacrifice his answer for the team. But still, in this strategy, in this algorithm, we can secure eight correct answers. And this is the solution to the riddle. Some of you may wonder if there's a flaw in the algorithm in case that we check three options and two or more options can yield the same modulo. Now, this thing cannot happen and um, you can check it out, try to prove it, it's not that complicated. So basically the algorithm should work for each combination of uh, numbers or uh, setting depending on random choice of the prisoners. And that's it, I hope uh, you like the riddle and I'll see you soon.